All right, so Michael Avenatti, he is the representation for Stormy Daniels. They actually just recently had a defamation case uh, against Donald Trump dismissed. So it was dismissed. Uh, pretty much everyone was laughing at Michael Avenatti. Now, I'm not actually really like a... There are a lot of people who just straight up hate Michael Avenatti. I don't, I don't hate him. I'm sort of in the middle. Like, I think he does some good stuff, but also... Some things I think he does are kind of weird and stupid, but I don't know. He's done some good stuff for sure. I mean, really a lot of the whole Manafort, or sorry, not the Manafort stuff, but the Michael Cohen stuff, which led to some Manafort stuff, um, came because of this in the first place. So, I mean, he did do some good, but after this was, uh, this happened where the defamation case was dismissed by a judge, what ended up happening was is that Donald Trump called Stormy Daniels horse face. Now, Michael Avenatti is going to, as you're going to see right now, he made a video about this. It's a sad day in America when the president of the United States calls a woman a horse face. Donald Trump should be ashamed of himself. I don't care if you're on the right, the left, or the center. No man should call a woman a horse face especially the President of the United States. I have two daughters. I think it's a disgrace. I don't care what your political persuasion is. You should condemn it as well. It's wrong. Holy smokes, this is a bad idea. This is so unbelievably stupid. Because how many times has this been done before? Hillary Clinton essentially based her entire campaign on this idea, this idea of attack this line of attack, this tactic, and it failed brutally. It was a brutal, massive, gigantic, ginormous, humongous, huge failure. It did not work. You are not like Donald Trump has made it now where he can literally say anything and the people just bat an eye, no matter how crazy the statement is. Now, the president shouldn't be calling a woman horse face, obviously. That's a horrible thing, even for anybody to say. But there is sort of a caveat there, which is like, like, yo, dog, like Stormy Daniels, like went on and just completely put his uh, his Peter on blast. So it's like low key fam, like you're not like really with the moral high ground here. Where it's like, oh, my God, he called her horse face. It's like, listen, he shouldn't be calling her that, obviously, but it's like you guys are acting like it was like some kind of like blindside crazy thing. It's like you did kind of put his mushroom on blast. You know what I mean? You put it kind of put a shroom on blast. So it's like eh, you're not really like innocent in this. Like, oh, my God, like totally came out of left field. Uh, not exactly, but it looked really orchestrated, just like Hillary Clinton stuff. It looked very fake, just like Hillary Clinton stuff. And it was this idea of, I have daughters and blah. And this, like, in a normal world, this would be something of concern. But today in the United States under Trump's presidency and during the election cycle, it doesn't matter. This is a horrible idea because all you're doing is people are just laughing at you. That's it. Like, I just saw a video of Ben Shapiro and just Ben Shapiro just laughing his ass off. And I can't blame him. I was laughing my ass off too at this video <laughs> because of how stupid it was. Like, what is he thinking? Like, who does he think he's aiding here? He's just aiding conservatives because now he's giving them comedy. And it's like, come on, dude. You got to know better than this.